Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I just got a new book in the mail from Cemetery Dance. Uh, they do great work and I've been super excited for this one. It's been on pre-order for quite a while. It's a short story compilation or collection uh, book featuring a lot of great authors. It's called A Midnight Under the Big Top. So I think all the stories have like carnival themes to them, which sounds amazing. Uh, you know, any horror carnival stories are right up my alley, sign me right up. Uh, so I am super excited to read this one and I think it'll fit right in with the Halloween season. I'm planning on reading it uh, in the month of October sometime. Uh, so today, as you can see, I literally haven't even opened up the box yet. Uh, so it just came in the mail, like I said, and yeah, let's uh, let's dig in and see what we got here. Okay, so here it is, fresh out of the box. As you can see, it's a pretty sweet looking book. Wrap around cover art there, looks pretty nice. Uh, even at, under the Dutch jacket, when do you see this? Pretty nice. Looks like a advertisement like an old advertisement for like an old carnival so that looks pretty cool midnight under the big top tales of murder madness and magic uh so yes uh looks pretty awesome as you can see uh the stories this is a star-studded cast of authors in this uh it's kind of like the nba all-star game of short story compilations i guess you could say if i can use a sports analogy um so yeah let's uh, kind of dig in here and see uh, what stories are in here and by who. Uh, so, uh, Act 1, as it says, is a story by Stephen King himself, The Night of the Tiger. Um, can't wait to read that. Uh, Joe Hill is next up with Twittering from the Circus of the Dead. I have actually already read that story. I think it was in uh, Full Throttle, I believe. Um, that's a little disappointing that I've already read it, but... Uh, I remember it being pretty good. Uh, a Neil Gaiman story is next. The Facts in the Case of the Department of Miss Finch. Uh, Kelly Armstrong. I've never heard of that author. The Girl in the Carnival Gown. Herd Immunity by Tana Narivdu. I probably butchered the pronunciation there, but uh, that was the best I could do. Uh, Lisa Morton. Pickled Punks in the Summer of Love. Courting the Queen of Sheba by Amanda C. Davis. The Circus Reborn by Nyad Monroe. The Black Ferris by Ray Bradbury. So pretty excited to read a Ray Bradbury story there. There is interludes of, uh, of poetry as well, which is, which is pretty cool. Uh, also now uh, going into Act 2, we got a story by Robert McCammon. Super excited for that as I've just read A Boy's Life. So I'm excited to read a, a short story by McCammon. The Great White Way. Uh, Richard Matheson as well. Uh, Barry Talents. Uh, Richard Chismar and Billy Chismar, both with stories, The Carnival and Mr. Bones' Wild Ride, respectively. Uh, Jeff Strand, Fair Treats. Smoke and Mirrors by Amanda Downham. Circus Maximus by Robert Brewerd. Dominic Kinsilla has a story called Laughable. Heather Graham has a story called Count Zardov's Circus and Museum of Terrifying Grotesques. And rounding it out is a story by Josh Mallerman called Dandy. Josh Mallerman is the author of Bird Box. Um, a very popular movie that they, uh, adaptation that they brought to Netflix. I'm sure a lot of you uh, saw that. Uh, so like I said, it's a pretty star-studded cast. I actually can't wait to get to this. As you can see, it's a beautiful looking book uh, with, with a nice dust jacket, which is going to look great on my shelf. My uh, Cemetery Dance collection is actually starting to grow quite a bit. Um, you know, I, I like I said, they do a lot of good work and they... Uh, they publish a lot of like limited editions and things like that. So if you've never heard of them, uh, check them out at cemeterydance.com. Um, a lot of good stuff there. Uh, Pre-orders you usually got to get, get in on uh, pretty quickly. But if you sign up for their newsletter, newsletter they, uh, they get everything out to you pretty quick. So um, I'm excited to get to this. And um, maybe I'll do a follow-up video um, with a little review and, um, you know, go over some of the, some of the good stories. Um, uh, that I read in this novel. Uh, like I said, it should be pretty good for the Halloween season, so maybe I'll come out with that video right around Halloween. All right, once again, thanks for checking out my videos, and we'll talk to you guys soon. See you later.